Hey guys, it's Vicki. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a Goodwill Bins haul from Augusta, as well as a Salvation Army uh, thrift haul. So we decided to try out the Augusta Bins. I had never been. They just opened them not too long ago. So I was a little scared of what we were going to find, but it was actually pretty, pretty good. If you'd like to see what I picked up, then keep watching. Okay, so, like I was saying, the Augusta Bins, I have been told some things by a few people, and so, including my, I think my dad even said that he went and they were, they were horrible. Um, however, he's not after clothes, he's after hard goods, um, pretty much. So, I went in, and they had literally, it's very small, so if you're familiar with Augusta, you may have remembered a store called Final Cut, which is where they had, like, the anthropology outlet that's where it was well that's where the goodwill bins is now the anthropology outlet is no more i don't know if they moved it to another area or what but it's not where it used to be so in this building they have 10 carts or bins full of clothes they have two full of purses and bags and ties and hats stuff like that and then they have one of shoes and then the rest is hard goods so I, you know, looked around at the hard goods, really didn't see anything that was great. I did find a, a water filter system that we literally just spent $25 on. I could have got it for two bucks. I went immediately to the clothes as soon as I got in. And the first bin that I started digging in, I was finding stuff. And I was like, okay, this is weird. There was only like four or five people in the store as well. So it was not packed like Columbia's, Columbia's bins in the morning. If you're not right at the door, right when it opens, you don't get a cart to push around. You have to get a bag and drag it around, and t uh, it's a pain. It is a pain if you're going in there to spend a lot of time because you only have this big garbage bag to fill up, and it can get heavy dragging around from bin to bin. So anyway, I picked up some stuff from there. So the bin location that we went to was on Washington Road, and then we left there and went to a Salvation Army location, which I couldn't tell you where it is because I'm not from Augusta. I'm not familiar with Augusta. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and start showing you what I picked up. Uh, FYI, I am just now getting over a cold, a pretty bad cold. So I will probably have to edit this video a lot because I will probably be getting a lot of coughing fits. So, so just keep that in mind because that's just what's going to happen. So, All right, so I should also add that I did already sell uh, a few things from my haul that day and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put those on the screen real quick before I get into this haul just to show you what those items were and how much they sold for. They all sold relatively quick within two to three days of listing the items. So I guess you can keep that those brands and styles in mind if you're looking for a quick flip. Um, but anyway, alright so the first thing that sold was this Anthropology Maeve. Um, it was just like a cold shoulder ruffle top. It was really cute. I think I had it listed for like 20 bucks and I offer like 15. I paid 50 cents for it, so I thought that was a decent profit. All right, the next top was this Anthropology Left of Center. It was another cold shoulder type top and I had it listed for 20. As soon as I listed it, within not even, I would say 30 seconds, it sold. So I was a little shocked that it sold so fast. Um, because typically anthropology does sit for me, but I've never picked up this brand before. I don't know if this is like, I don't, I don't know, maybe the person, it was just the right time. They were looking for that exact shirt. I don't know. Um, but it was a large, so it was a bigger size. I'm noticing that the bigger size stuff is selling quicker. So I'm trying to focus more on the bigger sizes, but I just can't find them. Okay, so the next item was this pair of mother jeans. They were called the Flirt Chew. I got these from Salvation Army and I paid 50 cents for these as well. And I sold them for $55 the next day. All right, the next pair was this uh, blank NYC. These sold uh, for $18. I paid 50 cents for these as well. And then the next item was this Torrid bra. It sold for $24 the next day as well. And then last, but not least, was this Lululemon sports bra. Um, it's just a basic strappy like the Y back, and it sold for $22. So, so sorry, I barely made it through uh, just showing you guys that due to the coughing. Um, I had to turn on my air conditioner because the heat 
triggers that cough. I'm sure you've had it before where it's like a tickle in your throat and there's uncontrollable. It's horrible. I hate this so much and I have been sick now. This is like the eighth day and it's just, you can tell it's going away, but oh my gosh, it's, it's not fun. Um, especially with the coughing and for you mamas out there, I'm sure you know why. But anyway, so let's go ahead and start going through this haul. So this is a pair of Nike. They're like track pants for men. They have like the zipper down here. And I got these from the bins. All of these things are already listed. I've been doing really good with getting stuff listed fast. Um, you know, I used to spread it out, but now I just, I need to get it up. I also started cross posting the stuff to eBay. So I was just trying to pump out as many listings as I could. Um, this came from the bins as well. This is a Nike Pro. These are like biker shorts. So. This one took me a while to figure out what it was. I mean, I knew what brand it was, but the type. But this is the Lululemon. It's the Be Me Tee. And it's like a knit with a little metal label. And on the back, it's got like the tinsel lyocell. And it did have like a little tiny spot over here, like a darker little spot, which I, I washed it. It didn't go away. So I just noted that in the description of the listing. All right. So these are a pair of men's American Eagle. These are the Extreme Flex Slim Straights. So they're just jeans. Um, not really getting any traction on Poshmark right now. I had success with a pair of men's skinny jeans the other day for American Eagle. They sold pretty quick. I might just need to drop the price. Um, but yeah, these were in great shape. These came from the Salvation Army and they were 99 cents. The next pair are these Not Your Daughter's Jeans. These are size 10. This is the legging. And they're, you know, just a pair of darker wash jeggings I guess you call them um, I don't remember where I got those I want to say I got those from the bins so um. all right so these are a pair of big star jeans these are men's I've never tried to sell men's big star jeans before but they are just some bootleg men's jeans so they are listed nobody's liked it might sit for a while <laughs> Alright, this came from the bins. It's just a basic CrossFit tank top. Um, it's got like the weightlifter on the bottom and on the back it says Driven. I did pick up a bunch of Joy Lab sports bras um, because I have sold them before and they sell for a decent 12 bucks. Um, just a little strappy back sports bra. Is that listed though? I don't know if that's listed. I'll have to keep a check on that. All right, the next top I found was this. This is a Disney top. I saw a top just like this in Alexa Sunshine. If you've seen her on YouTube, it's Alexa Sunshine 80 something. <laughs> I don't remember, like 83 or something like that. Um, but she goes to a lot of thrift stores and she does a lot of like styling and things like that. But she had one just like this that she got. Um, hers said California on it. This one says Florida. So, um, it's not vintage at all. This is, it's newer. So, it is a size medium. This came from the bins. And this is an UMG. I like UMG stuff because it's really pretty. Um, this is just a chiffon, uh, like a kimono type top. Open front. I guess it's just a kimono. I always call them cardigans though because it's basically what it is. Alright, I got this from the bins. This is LuLaRoe. I think it's called the Anna dress. I believe it's what it's called, but it's just this um, like maroon dress with flowers and it's extremely long. I don't have too much success with LuLaRoe dresses. I mean, they do sell. And if I price it how I should price it lower, um, it would sell quick. But I always price high at the start and I probably should stop doing that. All right, the next thing is this Coliseum Athletics. It is just this Florida Gators, um, like a knit tee. And then I have this American Eagle large. 
I don't know if that's feral. Is that feral? I don't know. I put feral in the description, but I feel like maybe I was wrong, but I don't know. It's just this really soft and cozy wool uh, sweater. I know I shouldn't be buying sweaters anymore because it's now time to start, you know, getting sandals and shorts and tanks and stuff like that. But I couldn't help myself. It was just so soft when I picked it up. I was like, no. I mean, even if it doesn't sell before fall, that's fine. I can hold on to it till then. I mean, it was at the bins, so. Um, the next item is this Moral Fiber, which is not a brand I should be picking up. But I like the style of it. Um, it's just this like black lace cardigan type thing. The next item from the bins was this Top Shop. This is a size 4. And it's just a cropped sweater. So These came from the bins as well. These are Brooks Brothers, size 4. These are a wool and linen blend. So that's what the tag looks like. But they are just like a pair of, like, I guess they're like, are they gingham? Oh. Like a gingham plaid type cropped pants. And they're just sitting. I guess Brooks Brothers pants don't do too well. I have them on eBay also. Um, nobody's really paying attention to them. So, Alright. This is Calvin Klein. It's just a basic striped shirt. It's got like the bell sleeves on it. Or flutter sleeves I guess is what they are kind of. But, And it is a size large. I grabbed this Velvet Heart. I like Velvet Heart because their stuff feels so soft, but this is Velvet Heart. It's just a tank top, like a chambray tank. This is a Lululemon. Um, I forget the name of it, but it's got like the mesh on the front and on the back. It's got an open back. Well, obviously it's a sports bra, Vicky. Anyway, so it's got the logo but I don't know if you can see it's like a splatter type speckle um, design to it pattern and then I grabbed this I don't know why but I did it's just a workout tee a WOD or die <clears throat> alright the next item came from the bins this is Ralph Lauren sport it's just a striped Ralph Lauren top, that's all. Just a t-shirt, long sleeve tee. Alright, so the next top is a hyped unicorn. This is a size small, medium. I had grabbed a pink one like this a while back, but this part was ripped. And I didn't notice it until I got home. And I actually had somebody who had offered me like 20 or $25 for it whenever, because they, they do retail pretty high. And they're on boutique brands. On Poshmark, there's a lot of boutiques that are selling these for like 40 bucks. So somebody offered me 20 or 25, I don't remember, and then uh, I just commented, I was like, you did see that there was a flaw, because I, I want to be sure. I don't want to deal with the hassle of return, even if it's in the description. I always try now to be like, hey, I'm just making sure you know that there is a flaw, you know, just to make sure they know, um, to have that in the comments and everything. So if they do try to return it for that reason, I could be like, look, I told you right here. So anyway, um... This is a, like a oversized lightweight sweater. It is a small medium, so it's, I don't know. I mean, it looks like it would fit me. And I'm like extra large to 1X, 2X, 3X, whatever I feel comfortable in. But I definitely don't feel comfortable in a large or less. So, um, this is just Hyped Unicorn. And I don't know if you can really see it. It's got a unicorn on the label. Um, I don't know if I just did a bunch of rambling there or not. The sickness, I'm telling you, it's crazy. Alright, this one I have not listed. I was thinking about keeping this, but it's a large, but I could wear it around the house. This is Everly, and it's just this cute little tank top that says Imperfect Beauty. This was 50 cents. And the belt for this is over there, so I'm not going to show you the belt. But I paid $3 for this. This is 1901. It sold at Nordstrom. And it's just this pleat, pleat collar shirt dress. It's got like the ruffle on the bottom. Really pretty navy. When I got it, it had like arm, like uh, deodorant stains all over it, but I got those washed out and everything. So, but yeah, um, I think I have a list for like 35, 
there's another one. Oh, and it has pockets. There's another one listed right now. Um, it's a too petite though. And she has hers listed for like 44 or something like that. Um, but since it's a different size, I didn't, I don't consider it undercutting. Um, this is a, like a, a Simply Southern tank or tank. So this is a Simply Southern, um, this is a Simply Faithful. It's just got like the hand or the palm with the elephant in it. Um, cute. And then an altered state. I like this. It's a peplum top sweater. It's got like the bell sleeves on it. Really cute. And a v-neck. And it's a size small. The next item is the Safe Femme. Now when I saw this, I did a video a while back showing like brands. I'll link that somewhere up here. I could have swore, and I'm going to go back and watch it. I'm still going to link it up here for anybody who wants to watch it. But it's like, you know, brands to look out for that sell for really high, that have a really high resale value on Poshmark and eBay. And I could have swore this was one of those brands. But, and so when I saw it at the bins, I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. First find. And then whenever I started looking at the comps, I was like, they can't be right. They were all like 20, 30, some of them 10, 15. So I guess this is not the same brand. I must have got it confused with like Le Femme or something like that. I don't know. I'll have to go back and watch it. But anyway, so this is just a little basic dress. Apparently they sell it on Zulily. So <laughs> um, I found this vintage bag at the bins. I thought it was amazing. It has got obviously wear because it's old, but it's got like the hand tooled flowers on the bottom. I just thought it was adorable and it still has like the things if you wanted to put a strap on it um, but yeah so like inside looks like that it's just really cute and nobody wants it they're just everybody's ignoring it so I'll just keep it for myself when I go through my hippie phase all right so this is banana Republic factory Oh, well, y'all know what that looks like. And then there's a pair of Bermuda shorts. So I got two of these. These are, let me see, Modern Movement. And it's just a camisole, a uh, lace. I have a white one just like it. I grabbed both of them, but the white one does have a little, uh, it looks like makeup is on it. So I had, it's in the washroom. Um, but yeah, so I was going to sell these together as a lot. And I was like, you know what, I'm just going to sell it. See if anybody wants it by itself before I do a lot. And then we'll see. All right, this, what is this one? Because this one is some random name. Oh yeah, so it took a while to find this one because this one did not have the label in it, but you could see where it was taken out. I did find it, I looked up the style number, I just described it in Google and it came up and it's a website called like Fashion Bella or something like that and they have these. Now this thing is so soft, it is polyester, but it's like really, it's got that real soft material. I wish it would fit me, but it is a small, um, but it's this long cardigan. It's adorable. It's got like the navy blue and the pink and the white and the tan. I love it. So, and it was in excellent condition. The only thing, pro the only problem was just the brand label was missing. Like the size and material and all that's down here. So. All right. Another Joy Lab sports bra. This one has some mesh up here at the front. And then I grabbed this just because it was cute. This is Bueno, B-U-E-N-O. Um, I see all, I see their bags all the time. I don't pick them up because they don't have a high resale value. But this one was like in brand new condition and it had this pretty like embroidery on it. So I just went ahead and picked it up. It's just like a convertible purse. It's like crossbody or handbag. And it's, I mean, very clean. I don't think it was ever used at all. And I don't know if it is leather because there's nothing to tell me whether it is or not. So I can't claim that it is. So I just listed that in my description. Then I don't know. Um, two more items in this haul. And I'm going to be doing a few more hauls after this to release over the next couple days, just so you have something to watch if you want to watch it. Um, this one came from the bins as well. It's just this black tote bag. And the brand is Cavill Canty. Cavill Canty, made in Italy. It's genuine leather. It's a nice bag. It is a nice bag. Um, I listed it on eBay and on Poshmark. 
Um, I've had a couple likers on Poshmark. On eBay, I think I had one watcher and that was it. But And then last, and this... Oh no, I got one more item. So this is a hobo bag, like Hobo International. I'm just sitting there, and I was like, well, I'll take you. I know hobo, the resale value isn't as great as it was when I first started selling on Poshmark. But, um, you know, it does have some discoloration on it. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but yeah, I just went ahead and listed it. And I'll probably lower the price today. Today is Wednesday. So I will try to get rid of it as fast as possible. I'm going to be doing an uh, entire closet uh, sale today. Just sending out offers um, to offers to likers for like free shipping on a lot of stuff. I have noticed that doing the free shipping is it's helping move stuff. Even if I only make, you know, six or seven dollars profit, it's six or seven dollars profit, you know? So I am just going to stick with doing that. All right, so this is Pure Jill and it's a linen pair of pants. They do have some pilling on the crotch, but I do have a sweater shaver that I can remove that with, um, but they're just like a cropped pant. And that is it, I believe. All right, so at the Goodwill bins in Augusta, I spent $43, and at the Salvation Army in Augusta, I spent $23, so about $66. And so far, just three of the items that have sold already paid for my entire thrift haul, both, all of it, everything, and it gave me $10 more profit. So everything else I have is just pure profit at this point, so that's always a good thing for me. That's what I try to do whenever I go sourcing. I do try to find a couple items, that I know are going to pay for the entire haul, so I don't feel as bad about spending as much money as I did. And honestly, a lot of you are probably like, $66 isn't that much. But to me, it is, because I'm literally paying my bills with the money that I get from Poshmark. And when things are slow on Poshmark, my money goes straight to bills, and I don't have that extra money to go to, you know, invest into my business. I don't go out and get loans like a lot of these people do. I don't do that, you know. I I don't do that. So it's basically sell something, try to make this much, go reinvest that amount. And so that's that's pretty much what I do. But anyway, so that was everything. I hope you all enjoyed my haul. If you are not subscribed, I welcome you to do so. I'm very close to a thousand subscribers, so I'm kind of excited about that. And I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye.